è senz'altro una delle stelle del Salone Internazionale di Ginevra. Noi l'abbiamo presentato già in Electric Motor News. Si tratta della Microlino e chi ha qualche anno, come il sottoscritto, sicuramente troverà, troverà delle linee molto familiari perché è stata ricavata da una vettura che è stata costruita molti anni fa. Noi siamo con eh, Oliver Outwater che è eh, uno dei responsabili di questa microlina e eh, salutiamo, noi eh, we present you to the Italian public and we uh, speak about the, this car that we present yet in Electric Motor News and that we consider that is uh, the star of the Geneva Auto Show. Good morning. Oh, grazie, grazie mille. Thank you very much. Um, yes, so basically, just to tell a bit about the project, we're sitting in the very first prototype that uh, we did. Um, it's a working prototype, so it's not just a clay model. It's not perfect. We have used a lot of standard parts. And we are now uh, developing uh, the car so that we can start a production uh, end of this year, actually. And there are a very big uh, relation with, Ital with Italy because uh, we know that uh, you make an agreement with Tazzari to develop this car. Exactly. So uh, we are very lucky and happy to uh, have a joint venture with uh, Tazzari, an Italian company from Imola. And uh, so they are responsible for all the technical aspects, homologation and production of the Microlino while we are doing the distribution and design of, of, the, of the car. This car uh, is a prototype uh, and will be homologated, of course, to the production. How is the, the, the situation of these uh, items to, to, to become a commercial vehicle? So uh, it's a special category. It's called L7E, which is... Uh, Actually, it's between a motorbike and a car. The motorcycle, um, quadricycle. Quadricycle, exactly, quadricycle. And uh, so it's, 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 it's very difficult to homologate an L7E. It's a very special uh, vehicle category. And, uh, but so far, everything is going as planned, and uh, we will start production end of this year. Yes. Um, to develop this car is very similar to the Iso Rivolta, old Iso Rivolta or Iseta from BMW. But uh, it's completely new. This is not uh, the pieces from the old project. No, there is uh, nothing from the old project. Uh, we were inspired by those bubble cars from the 50s. Uh, Iso Rivolta, Isetta, Mesa Schmidt. There were different uh, cars that had the front entrance. And so uh, we thought this is the perfect car for uh, urban use for in the city and uh, we made a redesign and the first prototype and starting the production soon so and what you don't know is that i drove years ago some iso rivolta isetta exactly isetta in argentina because i was born in argentina and i drove this with the two stroke uh, engine i remember very well <laughs> yeah so uh, <laughs> it's a surprise for you it, it, it's probably like this right <laughs> yeah <laughs> So it will be, uh, with the electric engine, it's uh, electric motor, it's a lot better because uh, it's got 20 horsepower, but uh, the acceleration is much better, it's smoother. For this kind of vehicles, uh, it's perfect electric, you know. And uh, we will have a range of 120 kilometers. So it's a car that is designed for daily use, like going to work, uh, shopping, for just a... Uh, 95% of the distances. And this is very special for other things, this car. I spoke with my cameraman before. This, you have this car and you put your advertising in the uh, um, body. All people see you, surely. And probably all babies and all uh, boys and girls would like to do a photo with you with advertising. Yes, <laughs> that, is, that is true. Um, I mean, We always say, and it's not just a joke, it's actually true, uh, it's, uh, you get more looks than if you drive in a Ferrari. It's, you know, people just, and you know, people are not jealous or like looking at you like this, they're laughing because they like it, they smile, so it's a car that makes you smile. Uh, and of course I, will, I would like to ask you, um, and we will see what we agree, uh, that have the possibility to test this car when it will be ready for production uh, and for electric motor use, of course, and we will keep in contact, surely. Yes, of course. Uh, production, uh, we will have the first series ready prototype uh, somewhere this summer, and uh, then it will be, uh, able to, we will, you will be able to test drive it also uh, in, in Imola. And distribution will be, uh, I suppose, at first in Switzerland or in Italy and after in the rest uh, of the world, of Europe? 
So basically, uh, we haven't decided yet on a, a distribution model. We, for us, it's very important to have the price around 12,000 euros and not much higher. So we don't know if we have uh, distributors and, and, and too many uh, indirect stores that have margins and make the, uh, the price too high. So basically, the countries we have, we already have 2,600 reservations. And the countries with the most reservations are Italy, France, Germany and Switzerland.